Hello, Carl and friends. Uh, Charles here, Sunrise Trailers in West Kelowna. It's not really the sunny Okanagan, but we're getting there. Um, as promised, I'm going to get a video walkthrough. I'm going to speak quickly because there's so much to tell you about this trailer, but uh, let's have a quick look. And uh, any questions, I welcome you to um, shoot me an email, give me a call. Uh, yes, a deposit is seriously a smart idea, being that this is uh, the best priced and the only one uh, decked out this way. Um, I'd still go to bat and try to get your trading value on yours but um yeah the private market is really the place you want to go to you still have a, a seller's market in the used category and uh the season is still half a season left so um let's look at this one first of all okay so uh the rpm uh they change out something new every year chris brand uh, gets one and uh, goes through it and says what he likes what he doesn't like and then they usually take his um, ideas into consideration so uh one cool thing for the 22 and up year is they now have the nose that used to be a stainless uh aluminum uh, sorry uh, polished aluminum now it is uh like color painted so really really sharp looking and that rpm emblem uh lights up leds at night and it looks really amazing that's how you know this is a 2023 model trailer because of that um moving along here i've opened up this uh, uh goose area uh, it is lockable uh key to like tumblers will operate all the doors uh you got two uh deep volt six cell batteries um uh, one is a dedicated just to operate the furnace so you've always got that happening and the other one uh does all the other uh little goodies inside uh two times 30 pounder uh lp tanks um you got the full size spare uh the gooseneck will also come with a power jack system so here's where you're going up and down on that okay and of course um that locks up there uh you've seen pictures of this awesome door that comes down trails west does tallest and widest in the industry they're not beat on the standard size is already a massive set of doors this one has uh, a spring assist with a piano style hinge there so uh, i can one hand it up and down for sure um, i just want to show you how these work now this is trails west this is called a slam latch technology it's patented for them it's a one uh, motion that will lock it in um uh, so you can operate with gloves on what have you and then just the little covers are smart they have also for 2022 and up gone to a, um, a aluminum uh, cam bar system here so there's no bleeding there's no rust uh, coming out on these trailers and of course greasable hinges because it's uh, top of the line trails race does not cut corners okay um, fuel doors oh, I've got them locked fuel doors times two on the street side so you're able to fuel up the machines while they're in there and you just pull up to the pump coming along uh, you've got uh, 15s but they are uh, 10 ply yeah I said that it's it's a 10 ply 225 75 r15 tire so basically indestructible they're just gonna uh, um, wear out over time but uh, we've had an excellent run with Rainier tires I've been here seven years I've never had anyone coming back with a problem with a Rainier tire okay it is not a cheap princess auto tire so um, easy lube hubs on Dexter 5200 pound axles puts each axle at 6,000 pounds capacity times two they are also torsion suspension and that really is the way, the way you want to go is torsion because that means no maintenance that means your tread's going to last longer than your tires that means that um, you're actually going to get better fuel economy than leaf spring because you have less friction happening on the road <coughs> excuse me um, you do see that uh, you do have the blown insulation underneath this trailer okay and it has also been um, undercoated as of uh, the 2022 models and up uh, this uh, step has also been uh, upgraded they used to have a, uh, a little one foot step uh, that uh, I'm sure somebody broke a neck on so they went to this uh, huge one that you and I could probably sit here and have lunch together on uh, and they added a uh, super glide uh, traction right on there uh, as well so just scook them scook them for sure we're gonna keep going around to the back now uh, I'm sure you saw that emblem that said extreme cold package uh, what that means is you've got that blown on insulation underneath you've got an additional 40,000 BG furnace you've got upgrade to 30 pound tanks so um, they're really trying to get you uh, fully warm um, no issues with ice buildup uh, on this trailer being the two 40,000 BTU Dometic furnaces okay stabilizers there of course uh, I'll just show you how easy this is to go up and down. I am one-handing this, obviously. And uh, it, it's built on uh, spring-assisted hinge system. 
Uh, they've done away with the cables for sure. I don't know if your current trailer has them, but they were a pain in the butt for a lot of skiers, uh, sledders, sorry. Um, so that'll just come down one-handed, and you or your wife can definitely operate that. Uh, then you've got um, load lights on toggle here and at the side. You also have um, reverse lights. Super bright at night. I'll see if I can get a picture off to you later, but uh, reverse lights are a really smart idea. So uh, we're going to traction blocks. Uh, Super Glides has collaborated with uh, RPM. Super Glides is a, a Canadian company in Quebec, and uh, that's awesome to you. Um, uh, skis are not uh, cutting up the Kevlar. Uh, as we come inside, I'm going to go over to the master power switch, and it's above the Mandor, so you can just um, kill the switch and go out and ride. You don't have to worry about anything there. And I'm just going to close that, hopefully a little bit quieter. But um, what we've done there is we've operated the, the power to the entire trailer. The thermostat and the furnaces are on a separate circuit. So you don't have to worry about a cool down period. You don't have to worry about a motherboard overloading, okay? Because they're on a separate circuit. Even if you kill this master switch, they're gonna take their time and cool down properly. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, turn that on so we can get that furnace going. Instantly it starts up, which is awesome. And yeah, it's never boring in this corner. You can hear that. <laughs> um, I've got a uh, a lot of outlets right here on the single furnace and here's the second furnace going low and as you know how it rises so it's going to be blowing straight back and all the way up uh love this design now it's about a 70 about a 70 30 split so 70 percent coming into the room 30 percent of that furnace power is being um, channeled through here which are your boot warmers okay i've got hot air coming out of there you've got glove warmers up here they go on either side of there, okay? As we come along here, you'll notice that there's holes in the floor. That is the track melt system. So under your sleds is completely going to be melting. It's, it's, it's a weak heat, it's not strong on purpose, okay? Most of it is coming to the room and that's what we want. Under the trailer, we can see later that there are troughs, insulated troughs that any water would catch. And at either end of the trailer, there will also be um, wing nuts and bungs where you can relieve any water that has it built up. So there's never an issue of like, bulging, freezing. The other really cool thing here is you've got heated helmet holders, okay, because why not? And then you've also got like a dry storage for um, tool supplies, the WD-40 oils, what have you. And let's even look up here, you will find a uh, onesie rack. Now this is also new for uh, 2022 and up. And um, I'm gonna just turn it off because there's no sense to put your furnace on when the door's open. Yeah, good. Um, uh, yeah, everyone's into onesies nowadays, so uh, they smartly designed that and put it above uh, the track and system. So the beautiful thing about these trailers, and I'm sure you can appreciate this as a sledder, uh, you can put your wet gear, your wet sleds in the trailer, and you can set that timer on there, uh, and I know everybody does this, and by the time they get home, you've got toasty warm helmets, toasty warm onesies, toasty warm room, and uh, everything's in here and ready for next time you get the urge to go out sledding, so we're awesome that way. Uh, you've got 110 outlets, I believe there's four of them in this trailer. Uh, let's just go down here for a second and look at the new design uh, benches. They used to fold out into the space, but now they've gone along the wall and a ratchet style system. So, there's a 400 pound capacity, so I'm sure it's going to be holding up. And then it is a ratchet system. Uh, let me just bear with me here. You need uh, two fingers. You're gonna release the ratchet. And then it's going to go flush and fold up against the wall. Um, and they've added lighting. Obviously the LED strips down the middle was super bright. They've also added independently a, a, a single pole switch for the lower lighting in case you were down here working on a sled. Uh, track or something of that sort you can have the lighting out here where you need it again the Chris Brandt influence on design and functionality of the trailer <coughs> Excuse me. Um, beer holders the mirror to check uh, your hair after you've uh, taken your helmet off that's always important here are your uh, light switch really easy um, I've turned off the the lower wall and then you've got uh, outside there's a porch light and uh, there's the uh, above ones. Um, additional hooks, tons of hooks, tons of storage, sort of dry storage. You're also noticing the USB ports, which they've increased even over last year. 
tons of USB ports. Um, let's talk about the stereo for a second. It's a JVC um, high output uh, stereo system. It is a Bluetooth compatible, so hands-free uh, on the phone in here. Um, I guess I can crank it if this is a, a thing for you, not really for me, but um, you've got a 10-inch uh, subwoofer up there. So I'm sure that sounded pretty good where you're at. Ooh, it's the weekend. Uh, up there you'll see that there is a panel and there is additional space on that panel by the way if you did want to add um, another accessory uh, into the trailer you've got additional space uh, to work there um, what else can we do uh, of course tons of space up here like uh, it's definitely a double-sized mattress that could go up there I wish I could put this uh, door down to show you but I just got a trailer way too close but that uh, will come up and down um, definitely you've got a car hauler here uh, with the uh, 6,000 pounds times 2, so 12,000 pound axles, the gooseneck, uh, we talked about how awesome the gooseneck just sits, rides, and pulls. You're able to jackknife in a tight parking lot with the gooseneck way more than you would a bumper pull. Uh, you're not rubbing out tires like you would a bumper pull if you were needing to jackknife and, and turn the trailer in, in a tight space. Um, so you've got that with the gooseneck. Um, talk about maintaining its value. Like, these are not a lot of them out there, so I'm sure that you could run it five, ten years, sell it for the same money you pay me. It's amazing how the stories I've heard of people uh, using them for years and selling them for the same or more money than they bought from me uh, years earlier. Anyway, that's just my reality. Uh, 6,000 pound flush mount D-ring with backing plates, okay? So you're definitely holding a, a vehicle in here. Um, uh, I know you prefer uh, the tie-down track system and of course it could be surface mounted. So that's not uh, really an issue. It's a bit of a vertical, but maybe we can get it uh, um, added. Uh, carbon monoxide detector I see has come online because they know that people are sleeping in these trailers. So you've got a hardwired carbon monoxide det detector. Couple that with an egress window tinted screen. Um, and, and again, it's because they know that people are going to be spending time in here, sleeping in here. Uh, this is really cool. This was new for 22 and up. It's the utilities rack. So WD-40s, your oils, your uh, paper towel holder. And this is how far they think ahead for design. This is a ratchet strap tie down holder so you don't have them underfoot and tripping on them or say where the heck did I put that ratchet strap you've got a place where they can always go and be stored safely all the way to the broom to sweep out after um, the season's finally finished and everyone's crying but then you know what this could definitely be a uh, four season trailer uh, I've got people that run it four seasons side by sides no problem I know we touched on that 82 inch door opening 92 inch wide 99 inch overall and a nice gradual double beaver tail system deck above trailer right here so we'll just go down this side just to show you how this looks um, I think I did touch on the black so it's a, a really really deep black it is a matte black mixed with a gloss black and this is the really deep solid black not too shiny color that they've come up with we love it um, I promise I'd wash the trailer before it goes out to you brother because I just that's how I roll uh, there's your exhaust for your uh, furnaces and there's the second one and I'll just do this up so you can get that idea but yeah no skimping on checker plate all the way to the top see the awesome six inch tubing that's here yeah very capable trailer obviously it's a trails west um they've been doing this uh in idaho making horse trailers uh well respected in the horse community for uh joyce 40 years uh so it was a no-brainer that they would take these people over and get them into uh, the uh sport end of things so you can see my collection just one of these babies um i, I really hope it should be yours uh the price i've done what i can to help you uh, if you fuel on your way over here, uh, we just gotta get yours sold. So let's go ahead and work on that. Okay, makes your time. Talk soon.